Do you know what every Amazon seller has in common? Google Chrome extensions. Now, if you don't know what these are, then you probably haven't been selling on Amazon very long because every seller that I know, including myself, has utilized Google Chrome and the extensions that can be added to Google Chrome ever since they started selling. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the top seven that every Amazon seller should know. And even if you are somebody that does other types of e-commerce, this video can still apply for most of the different extensions I'm gonna recommend because they aren't going to be the typical this Amazon software that you have to use except for one or two of them. It's going to come down to things that will increase your productivity and help you to make better decisions as you move forward in your business. Now if you don't know what Google Chrome extensions are, I'll quickly go through that. Essentially Google Chrome extensions allow you to utilize their web browser of Google Chrome and then these extensions get added into that Google Chrome browser which changes the data on the Google Chrome browser web page. It may allow you to see extra things for Amazon sellers. It allows us to see sales rank data and see fees and profitability, etc., onto our Google Chrome pages and each page that we're looking at. But it doesn't just apply to amazon.com. It can apply to any and every web page. Now, if we're looking at this screen right here, my Google Chrome extensions are up here. Plus there's a whole extra list of extensions that I have in the top right-hand corner where you can see this little puzzle piece up there. That is where you can see extra extensions. Now you can actually go to the Google Chrome store and download download extensions. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but ultimately what they will do is alter the page that you're looking at. So for instance, this right here is a Google Chrome extension. I'll go through in just a minute, but it alters the regular web page so that I can see more data while I'm sourcing. That's why this is important so that we can make sure to have as much productivity as possible in our product purchasing as we are doing that for our Amazon business. Now the very first extension that each Amazon seller should have, and it is specific just to Amazon sellers, is Keepa or Keepa.com. Now with a Keepa.com subscription, this is paid, it's about $20 per month, but you can actually see so much product data for making your purchasing decisions right on the Amazon page. I've done tons of training videos on Keepa that you can check out on my channel and have a free Keepa training guide at my website at askjimmysmith.com forward slash Keepa guide. Now that link is below and in the description for you, but this is what Keepa looks like. It gives a bunch of data for the sales rank of the product, how much it's been selling, it gives you your pricing history so you can see that over however long this ASIN or this product has been on Amazon's page and it gives you the new seller count so you can see the amount of competition that would be on this page and so this is the very first very important most important Google Chrome extension that you would have as an Amazon seller on your business if you're doing arbitrage or wholesale now the second one that you would want as an Amazon seller or somebody that's even just trying to do any kind of e-commerce looking for the profitability of products that you can sell on Amazon is either Rev Seller or ASIN Zen. Now, both of these are profit calculators, but they also give you a lot of data in your Amazon business to see if it's something that you should be selling as well. Now, as you can see here, I'm actually utilizing Rev Seller, and I do have videos on this as well on my channel. But here you can see the rank that it's currently selling at, the sales rank. You can see the price that it's currently at. And then if I were to input my buy cost, let's just say this is $4, it also calculates my profits, my ROI, my margin, etc. And there's a lot of extra features here, but this will really speed up your online arbitrage sourcing if you use either RevSeller or ASINs. Now, the reason that it's both and not just one is because they both do similar things. They do have different feature sets and different price points, but the point is that it will speed up how quickly you can analyze a product versus having to go to a completely separate page to look at all of the Amazon fees and see if it's a profitable one for you. So this is just an example, but it does show you all of the different information that you would need to make the best decisions possible in your business. Now, I actually have a discount code for RevSeller if you're interested in utilizing that. It is at askjimmysmith.com forward slash RevSeller. I highly recommend checking it out. It is a discount on the first year, but this is what I've used since 2015. I still love the software and they consistently update it with many more features. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. Now, the third Google Chrome extension that every Amazon seller should look at is actually free. You don't need the paid version. They do have a free and a paid option. Currently, you don't need the paid one. I've only used the free one for years at this point and it is actually called DS 
Amazon Quick View. Now DS Amazon Quick View allows you to see this information down here as you're sourcing. So if you're looking up a brand in particular, I put Boots and Barkley here, you can see that, oh, okay, this is a 3000 almost in pet supplies rank. Plus there's only one FBA seller. Well, maybe you're looking for something with a higher rank in pet supplies because of the type of products that you typically like to sell. And this one actually doesn't have any sellers showing right now. Or you can see that it's sold by Amazon. Or if there's multiple sellers, sellers on a product like there's two here well maybe this is an option for you as well because you know that there's more competition so that means that you have more opportunity to find it as an arbitrage product there's so much you can do with just this basic information you can also if you did want to utilize the paid version you could see keep a history and pricing history again i don't do that because this is free but it allows me to see a lot of information on the product pages as i'm doing my sourcing which really helps so much because it just speeds up my process if i'm looking looking at something and I see that there's no rank, then I may decide to pass up on it because it may not have sold. But if I see that there's no rank and that there are reviews on it, then that means typically that it's sold a bunch and there's just no rank on it. So I may actually find a good opportunity. Also, if I'm looking and I see 15,000 in pet supplies and it's sold by Amazon, well, maybe I don't want to compete against Amazon or maybe I'm okay with competing against Amazon. This information though allows me to quickly source through products because it's all right on this sourcing page. Now, the fourth Google Chrome extension that I recommend for all sellers, but not just Amazon sellers, also other businesses or anyone that really just is on the internet at all, is called the Video Speed Controller. Now, this extension is actually free as well, and it allows you the ability to speed up any videos. And the reason that I put it on here, while YouTube has the ability to do that on their platform and other platforms, even like Facebook, allow you to do it natively, this Video Speed Controller allows you to do so on websites that don't have that option at the bottom of the screen. Screen. And so it may not be as useful on YouTube, but it may be very useful on training videos. Maybe you bought a course and you're trying to go through these training videos quickly and there's no way to speed up the video. This will allow you to do that right on the page just by clicking these buttons. And so I have utilized this and it has gotten me back more time than I even could imagine because of how quickly I'm able to go through different videos that I need to as I'm working through my business. So I heavily recommend getting the video speed controller or something similar. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of these programs, but this is something that has saved me a lot of time and allows me more time freedom to do other things that I need to, and it's completely free and easy to install onto your Chrome. Now, the fifth one that I recommend is also available for non-Amazon sellers, and it's actually something that allows me to manage my tabs on my Google Chrome browsers much better. It will free up the memory, the local memory on my computer so that my computer can operate in a faster way as I'm loading different web pages. Now this one is called the Workona Tab Manager. And in this Google Chrome extension, you can see, you can just go there, you can add it. It is free up to a certain level. I only utilize the free version of this tab manager, but it allows me to pause certain tabs so that it can free up the space on my computer to focus on other things. It just really allows me to speed up my functionality and the ability to load web pages much faster. And I really love this tab manager. Also, it gives me the ability to switch into a different computer. So I've got my at-home office computer and I have my laptop. If I'm ever on my laptop away from my office computer, I can click into this tab manager, log in, and it will pull up all the tabs that I had open through this tab manager. This has saved me countless times as, you know, maybe I had to go do some work off-site from my office and I'm not here and I really needed access to something. I couldn't remember the web page. I was able to pull it up because I was utilizing this Workona tab manager. So this is a huge productivity saver and it really does free up the memory on your computer to focus on the activities that you're actually utilizing in those tabs that you're working in. The sixth Google Chrome extension that I recommend is again for Amazon sellers, but even for people that are just shopping on a normal day-to-day -day basis, and it's called Price Blink. Now, Price Blink is also free, but it really works well for those of you that do online arbitrage or anyone that's just looking for better deals, coupons, and cashback sites, etc. In this Google Chrome extension, as you can see right here, it's got over 100,000 users. Again, I'm not affiliated with this, but it will pull up, if you're on a website, it will pull up any page 
that it says, hey, save a bunch of money, save $101. This item costs 68.68 at Amazon. No need to get it at Nordstrom. So it will show you where you can get products cheaper. And this allows you to find new suppliers and things like that for your online arbitrage business. Or if you're just shopping, in this case, it looks like for boots, it could save you a bunch of money by buying them at Amazon versus at the Nordstrom site that they're showing here. Also on Kohl's, it can show a bunch of different discounts, you know, or any other website. It'll show, hey, we've got this discount. It's expiring soon. Here's a bunch of other discounts you can utilize. These things really help you to become more profitable with your Amazon business, as well as save some money and just in your personal life. So I've used this multiple times. Sometimes it can jump up a little bit too much on the pages. And so I've turned it off before and then I'll turn it back on whenever I'm trying to look for a discount for something. So that is the only drawback to it, but it has helped me to save money. And I've used it a lot of different times for my online arbitrage sourcing. And I recommend you check it out too. Now the seventh Google Chrome extension that I recommend, and just so you know, I have an eighth one that I'm holding off. It's a bonus Google Chrome extension for you if you're interested in an extra one. But this seventh one is called the AMZ Suggestion Expander. This has helped me a lot with my online arbitrage sourcing to think of new ways to source for different products. And really what it does is as you're typing into the Amazon search bar, it will give you more suggestions based off of different keywords that are popular with the keyword set that you were typing in. Now, if we're looking here, for instance, at Boots and Barkley again, this is just a brand at Target. If I were to click into here, you can see that this AMZ Suggestion Expander right here allows you to get different keywords before. Sometimes it'll show different keywords after. So let's look up Equate and we'll see what pulls up. So these are the typical Amazon searches that would pull up. So if you didn't have the expander, this is what Amazon would show. But the AMZ Suggestion Expander shows wipes before, or stool softeners before, or clear medical tape for skin, Equate. These are different ways that you can search for products as you are uh, doing your arbitrage sourcing. You could even start typing in different letters and kind of see what comes up from this, right? Now, obviously, Amazon's going to have a lot of different things, but you can just really start to look at this as you're doing your sourcing as kind of a different way to look up different products. So this can really help speed up your Amazon sourcing because it allows you to look at different keywords that you can source to find new replenishable arbitrage products where you're buying them from the store, selling them for hire on Amazon, finding new products to send into Amazon and just different ways to think about them. Because as you're doing the replens arbitrage business model I teach on this channel, you're trying to look for things that people are searching for to buy different products. And if you're looking at an Equate product, well, maybe you never even thought of some of those words that came before or the words Words that came after the product that you typed in. And so the AMZ Suggestion Expander can help a lot. It's also free. They do have a paid version, but I've only ever utilized the free version. So I recommend checking that out as well, depending on if you're doing arbitrage sourcing, wholesale sourcing, or even private label or branded bundles, it can help you tremendously with all of those to see other keywords that you can apply into your business and into those products. And the eighth Google Chrome extension that I actually recommend is a video screen recorder. Now, the reason this is important for Amazon sellers or really any online entrepreneur is because as you're building your business, you should also be creating systems. And as you're creating these systems, the best way to do it is to have something that records your screen that you can talk over and you can start creating these video systems for any team member or person that you train in the future. But it also does help for personal things too. If you're trying to show somebody, a friend or a family member, how to utilize a website or how to do something in particular, you can use this video screen recorder in a lot of different ways. And so I really recommend uh, just getting one. There's a bunch that exist. I personally use loom.com. Now with that, there is a free version of that software. It does limit you to five minute videos, but it can be very helpful if you're trying to just be very productive with your time and create under five minute videos. Also, you don't have to show your face. You can just show your screen or you can even just do audio if you just wanted to record something there. But loom.com is what I use. There's tons of other screen recorders and video recorders that you can use though to grow and scale your systems for your Amazon business. So what other Google Chrome extensions do you use in your Amazon business or in your personal life at all, post them down below in the comments. I'd love to see them. Should I add some extra things to this list or make another video on a bunch of other Google Chrome extensions that you can use? Just let me know that in the comments because it's an ever evolving and expanding landscape of options out there. So these are the ones that I believe are most necessary, but let me know your thoughts below. If you're interested in a free training that I've put together on how to sell on Amazon, it's 30 days of emails. Just head over to askjimmysmith.com forward slash free training. You can see those links below and in the description. And I hope to see you at the next video. Now, be a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.